Is the angle good? I wonder if cinematic, cinematic is better. Anyway, uh, hello guys, what's up man? Coming at you with a driving video, Socrates Feliz. I fucked that up. <laughs> or so praise God, it's a Sunday. And today I just wanna talk about, man, you know, for me, I don't think it matters really to a certain degree. When it comes to, you know, people say get your hair perfect every two weeks, uh, shave your beard, stuff like that. But maybe because I'm on same retention or it's just my aura. But for me, I don't really, I don't, I don't, you know, I don't really, I wouldn't say I won't really need it because look at this, it's not crazy, but I, I see the fuzzies, right? Maybe what I see is different from what other people see or from the women see. They could probably just see my facial features and be like, okay, this guy can get his hair is a little, you know, but the way he dresses, the way he holds himself up, I feel something in him. Is it all women? I don't know. But today at church, I just went to church. I sat all the way in the back, like all the way in the back, up, like up all the way in the back. All of a sudden, people came in, uh, it was kind of full, but the back had a bunch of uh, seats open. I'm sitting there chilling right before the music plays. All of a sudden, seven women just started sitting near me. Like, literally, one right next to me one, uh, and three to the like right corner. And then others right next to me. And, okay, like I said before, sometimes before, or sometimes, or I'm starting to realize... Just when I breathe sometimes, my energy just leaks out to a point that it essentially, I don't, say, I don't know if it turns them on because I feel it. And when I feel it, sometimes I get that trigger like, oh, I want to throw some fire on it. But I'm like, no, I can't do that in church and I don't, I don't want to do that anymore. But I feel it. You know, I feel the, the interest, the energy being thrown my way. And this is starting to realize, make me realize, like, man, I have something a lot of people don't have. No wonder a lot of men fucking hate me. <laughs> They're always questioning, like, why? Why this guy? You know, again, but hair unkept. Sometimes I have the rugged beard. Sometimes I have unkept hair. I gain a little bit of weight. And I still attract. I'm still good. I'm still perfectly fine. Out and about. Not in the same spots I go, but out and about. So I don't know exactly what level I'm at. I don't know exactly how crazy my capabilities are. But this is starting to make me realize, I think Ron Wills said that every player has certain auras or there's aura levels. And the highest is Super Saiyan that he has seen. And honestly, I'm at that level. I'm I'm not even gonna say I think. I think I believe at this point I'm at that level. Like it's actually kinda disgusting. And then you add in the capabilities of feeling this type of energy and essentially being able to direct it or not direct it. Hell, I like I said, I just breathe sometimes. I just and then all of a sudden, I just feel, that's it. I don't even think, I just feel it. Or think of like moving my energy around to, to redirect it. I'm not even breathing from my balls, essentially. I'm just breathing, deep breath. And all of a sudden, I see all these women start playing with their hair and turn around, look at me. They, I feel like some of the heat in their body, not being directed at me, but I feel a little bit in their body, right? I'm just like, damn. What is this like? Is this a superpower? Or like, what? What am I doing? It's kind of crazy, to be honest. Huh? So yeah, uh, you know, a lot of people say get your hair cut every two weeks, three weeks. Honestly, figure out for you, because I'm at a point where I'm just, I'm just different. I'm at a point where I just, I really have to start looking and believing. I'm just different. I'm one of the outliers. 
the only thing I need to truly work on is my mouthpiece and uh, pushing things forward sexually. But I realize that's just me saying things like, oh, you look very sexy. I like your hair. It's very sexy. You know, stuff like that. But seductively, like in a low, cool voice with a smile. That's really it. Be like, hey, how are you? I'm doing great. Your hair is very sexy. I like that. You know, with a little oomph. It's really it. But that comes, that's, that's what I'm going to be working on this year. So yeah, that's really it. That's, that's just my ramble, I have to say. Because today just, it just opened everything up to me. I'm just like, damn, man. I'm just, I'm just at a different level at this point. I'm just at a different level at this point. I just have to accept it. But church was talking about leadership and everything, how leaders come in different... You wouldn't expect them to look like a leader. I don't know. People don't really expect me to look like a leader, but I am. I have the qualities. And now I'm at a point where, well, I experienced one thing. You know, the shut-in phase. So now let me go out there push through life experience the other side of living the living life and guide people along the way or at least tell my story so people could be like huh I relate okay I was a shut-in now I'm going out there in the world so yeah uh, thanks for listening guys I hope you like and subscribe I hope you discuss talk about what you have been doing this year experiencing this year you know don't let other people Whatever, bro. Stop caring about what other people think. Seriously. Once, once you get that out of your head, oof, you're good.